Hey guys, Lady Survival here. So today I am doing another Killstar haul. It's been a long time. I have been away visiting my fiance in the United States. So I'm back home now and I wanted to wait to do it till I was back home because of course there is a particular vibe here in my bedroom and I didn't quite have that atmosphere at my fiance's house. So um, I ordered my stuff back in like October or maybe early November and I got like a decent amount of stuff. Unfortunately, I don't have all of it here, um, but I think I do at least maybe have pictures of everything. Um, so basically because when I came back home, I couldn't bring everything back because one, I didn't have enough room, and two, it would be kind of silly because I'm actually trying to move to be with my fiance, and that should be happening in like the next couple months. So I tried to leave like as much stuff as possible that I could there, but I brought home like stuff that was like you know small enough to fit into my little carry on suitcase, which was actually the Killstar one, which I will show here. It's freaking amazing. I used it for all of my travels back and forth. I've gone to see my fiance five times in the United States, so. Yeah, and I've only ever used my Killstar carry-on case and nothing else, and I've just made it work other than this visit where I went for five months. I did ship like two boxes of stuff over because I was like, okay, I need more stuff than what I can fit here. So I did the best I could. I brought home what I could, and um, anything that I don't have, I believe I have pictures of me wearing it, and if I don't, I'll just like insert a picture of the other stuff that I did buy um, with this little group of stuff that I bought. I think today I have a slightly different setup than usual. My camera's usually facing over that way where my closet doors are, but I figured I like this area where my bed is a little bit more. I don't just have as much room though is the only thing, but I can totally hop up on my bed and try to show you guys uh, some little outfits and stuff. So what I usually do for my Killstar hauls is show all of the items first and then I will try them on afterwards. I just find that the easiest. So the first item in no particular order is the Cardinal Sins bralette. This is a size extra small and this thing is so cute. I freaking love it. I haven't worn it like a ton in terms of like just outfits because it is a little bit too like lingerie for me. Like I wouldn't really just wear this as like an outfit thing but for selfies and you know for feeling cute for my fiance I would definitely wear this and when I live with him I probably will wear this around the house but I mean being at my parents house don't really wear this too much it is so cute I love it it has lots of um, lace on it and um, it has like kind of the corset thing in the middle with the strapping and it has the um, I don't really know the term I'm so bad with like clothes you guys uh, these things the bar things that are in there to give it some structure and shape I guess um, it's so, so, so cute. I love it. I love the way that it's cropped. I love the way that the cups fit. And then it also comes with um, this cute little kind of built-in little choker thing to go around your neck. And it just kind of will clasp in at the back, kind of like a bra strap. It's so cute. I can't wait to try this on for you guys. The next item I have is the Ruby Boudoir Bra, I think is how you say it. I'm not really sure. Um, this one came in, I believe, a black and then the the ruby color which I decided to get just because it was a little different for me. Um, this is so cute. Again, it's kind of similar to the last one. I'm having a hard time like displaying this um, where it has kind of like lace and or I'm sorry lace and then this kind of velvety material and then it has a really cute little cross in the middle there and a bow and then it has these really cute straps that kind of rest on your cleavage and this is so cute the only thing um this is an extra small and i found it to be a little bit small on me which i find a little weird because every other killstar thing i've gotten an extra small has fit me just fine um and even the other lingerie piece that i showed you fit me fine but something about this one is a little bit tighter and i wish i got a small and the cups are even like pretty small like my nips are like almost like popping out near where the lace is and I just feel like I don't know it kind of sucks so I've only worn this one a little bit um it's not very comfortable to wear for a long period of time because it digs in a little bit but I'm sure if I got a size up that wouldn't be a problem but it's still super cute and it looks really good the next item I have is a tank top and this is called the memento strappy top um I have always loved these kind of tops that have the lace bit at the top I think they're so cute um so this one I got in an extra small and this was my favorite design they had a lot of different ones to choose from but this one I just really really love just something about I just like the angel wings and I also have a uh, tattoo let me get back up here <laughs> I have a tattoo on my thigh of a spirit healer from World of Warcraft which is basically um, 
I guess for those who don't play WoW, it's basically an angel that will bring you back to life, <laughs> that will revive you, and so I just really liked it. It kind of gave me spirit healer vibes, and yeah, so I thought it was really, really cute. It says um, some stuff that I can no longer read because unfortunately, um, after wearing this a couple times, it has started to kind of peel off in some places. I haven't washed this in a little bit. Um, there might be cat hair on it and stuff, but yeah, the the this stuff is kind of starting to flake away a little bit so that kind of sucks because there was some like I don't know like some Latin written on here I don't even really know but yeah it is super super pretty I just love 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 the vibe of it just with kind of like the angel girl with the little clock and uh, it says memento mori which is basically a reminder of the inevitability of death a symbolic uh, reminder of such so I just I just like the vibe of that. I thought it was really, really cute, and the lace is amazing. Um, this, again, is an extra small, I think I mentioned. Um, this one fits a little bit baggy on me, oddly enough. I've never had that either, so I was hoping that it was going to be a little bit tighter on me. I'll show you guys when I try it on. This next item I have is another, like, tank top kind of thing, but this one's, like, a sleep tank top, and I freaking love it. I never really had, like, a specific top that I wear to bed. I would usually just kind of wear, like, whatever random t-shirt I had on that, uh, that day. So this was super bomb. This one is called the Dead Sleepy Sleep Vest, uh, which is a cool name for it. Um, so it just says you can sleep when you're dead, and I just really like the aesthetic and the font choice that they have, and the little skeleton with the little Z's and the little snore bubble <laughs> thing that he has going on. So super cute, super great to wear to bed. Sometimes I just wear it throughout the daytime as well because it's so comfortable. Um, this one I really, really like the fit of. I think it's a perfect like sleep top. This next one I have is the Melania Velvet Vest. This is also an extra small and this is just a really cute um, little crop top thing and it has the lacy bits on it at the top which I love but this one is a v-neck which I thought was really really cute and it just, it, I don't know, it just fits your body really really nicely. I like how it looks um, on a small titty girl such as myself. I mean it looks good if you have a bigger chest too but just personally I think it's just a really cute kind of dainty top if you have uh, small titties like me. So yeah, this one has a really, really pretty uh, velvet pattern on it. It has, it looks like a moth on it and just kind of some cool little uh, swoosh swooshes and moons and all kinds of maybe floral looking designs. It's really, really pretty. I love it so much. And this is the last one I have with me for now. This one is probably my favorite. I've worn this one the most and I also have been wearing it literally for the last four days in a row like I'm disgusting and I even wear it to bed and then wear it the next day and then wear it to bed and wear it the next day. I haven't washed it in a while. I'm in quarantine so and I play World of Warcraft so I don't really have time to wash things or do much. I just I don't care at this point. Um, So this one is freaking amazing. This is the Supreme Witch Vest Top. This one I never really realized how cute it was because on the model like you don't really realize what's actually going on with it because you just see it from the front and it just looks like a really basic like tank top but it has um a pentagram design in the back which you can't really tell right now but when i put it on you will see and it is just so cute just the way that it looks on your back and i have like back tattoos as well so um i just really like how it looks on them and this is just my favorite and it's a pretty low v-neck and again i think it looks really good if you have small titties, but again, it would probably look good if you didn't as well, but just for me personally, I just love the look of a v-neck when you got small titties, so. So yeah, there's that one, just pretty basic, super comfortable, strappy in the back, and I have not washed it in a long time, oops. So that was my last item I had to show you guys, so I'm gonna try everything on for you and show you how it looks. Um, I'm probably, because I didn't have any bottoms this time from Killstar, I'm probably gonna try everything on with this random little skirt that I've had for a long time, and if I don't, feel like wearing it with this I might just put on like black leggings just to kind of keep it simple but I think everything would look cute with this and it just it just makes it easy for me to just try on one bottom with everything. In terms of other items that I bought I'm probably going to use this section now to kind of insert any pictures that I find of me maybe wearing the items and if not I'll just kind of insert what was on the Killstar website because I did get a few other things. I basically got a um a cauldron mug, another one of their um, black matte black sippy cup things that they have with the straw, I guess tumbler cups is what they're called, and then I also got like two things of thigh high socks and boots, and I think that that's all. So I will try to insert those now as well so you guys can at least know what else I got. 
All right, so this is the first little top. This was kind of a lingerie one like I was telling you guys. And it's not that bad. Like, I mean, I could totally wear this just personally. I wouldn't feel that comfortable going out in public like this, but it's not, it's not too bad. Um, but yeah, I really, really like this top. I think it's so cute and I think it even looks good with the skirt. I told you guys I would get up here. <laughs> so yeah, there is my little outfit. Let me adjust this. Um, with my little skirt. I think it's very cute, um, but you can also wear this with just leggings or a different skirt or jeans. Or This is it from the back. Again, I really like that my back is exposed so you can see my tattoos. Um, and also, another thing, I've completely stopped wearing bras and it has been life-changing. It's been like about a year now that I haven't worn a bra like at all um, and I've been loving it and it's just really great in terms of like having your back exposed and not having to worry about bra straps or anything. So yeah, um, it's been a while <laughs> since I've done a haul. I don't really know what else to show you or what else to say, but this is it. <laughs> I hope you like it. Okay, so here's the next one. This one's like pretty much a bra. So I mean, a little weird for YouTube, but I've tried on swimsuits and stuff before. Um, so here it is. Uh, it's very, very cute. I realized as I was trying it on, I like left one of the pieces at Derek's house, my fiance's. There's supposed to be a little um, piece that clips onto here and goes straight up and then has a little like uh, choker thing around your neck and I must have left it somewhere at his house so I don't have it but there is technically another piece to this. I can put in a picture here so you can see what it would look like but it's still super cute without it so that is just fine. Um, so this is it from the back. Uh, very lacy and very cute. Um, so this one, when I was showing you guys, I was mentioning how um, this one's a little bit small. Like, it just fits kind of tight. Like, it's not bad. It definitely fits me. Like, it fits me, but it's just after a while, the sides here definitely start to kind of dig in a bit. And um, definitely after you take this one off, if you wear it for, like, I'd say at least an hour, it would leave some marks. But again, I think that that's just because I should have sized up so it's not necessarily an issue that you would have. It's cute and it works for pictures and it works for short time use. Other than that, I really really like it. I think it looks really really good. Um, this one, I don't think I'm going to bother to get up on my bed because I mean at this point I'm just showing you my thigh high socks and my skirt but it is very very cute. This is the next top. This is the one, the Memento Mori top with the little angel girl that I really really like on it. Um, this one is kind of something that I would just wear like all the time. Basically my main like fashion thing that I tend to do is um, leggings and a tank top. So this is a tank top so this is definitely right up my alley. Um, I've worn this a lot so far and as I was saying um, the detailing has kind of started to wear off. I've washed it probably like 10 times or so since I've had it. Um, and I mean, it's all right. Like, it's still lasting through. It's not that bad, but I can see in like a year from now, a lot of it might be gone. Um, I'm trying to not wash it as often now that I realize that. So, um, you know, I might get like two or three wears out of it before I'll bother to wash it. But yeah, just fair warning. Um, got my tag sticking out. And then here is kind of the front bit, all lacy and stuff. Um, and again, I was telling you guys I don't wear bras anymore or anything. Um, so I don't know if that's why. I was kind of mentioning how this one fits a little bit looser on me. It's not that bad. It's just that I was kind of expecting it to be like tight, tight for some reason. That's just kind of what I expected. And it's just kind of a little like, it's just got some like looseness to it. And I don't know if maybe it would be better if I had a bra and maybe it would kind of like just grab to my titties a little bit better but um it's not bad or anything it's not that it's loose it's just I was expecting a tighter fit for some reason all right so this is the next one I put on um, my little shorts that I usually will wear to bed because this is the kind of pajama top so I figured it would be better than wearing a skirt um so not a whole lot to say about this one because it's just kind of similar to the um the last one in the sense of it just being like a black tank top with some graphic on it um, but again super super cute very simple uh very very comfortable to wear to bed i just it fits nice and snug i guess that this was kind of more what i was like expecting with the last one like just a nice like snug fit there's not really any looseness to it um and i really love it and i like how it like tends to sit like it kind of leaves like a little uh belly gap showing area naturally and like throughout the day when you wear it it kind of will like 
right up. I can't really like imitate it by doing it on purpose. And um, this one was also perfect because I needed a sleep top like I was saying, but also it already matches. Like I've had these shorts for like so many years, I think like seven years or something, and I always wear them to bed and this just matches like really perfectly with the black and white theme. Um, these shorts are the Pretty Reckless shorts, which is a band. I'm sure you guys know. <laughs> Here is the cute full outfit, which is perfect with the socks as well. We got the whole black and white theme thing going on. This is it kind of up close. I really, really like it. It's just literally just a basic spaghetti strap tank top, and I really like how it falls and looks great with necklaces and all that and stuff. <laughs> Um, this is the second to last thing and I decided to just keep my shorts on just to kind of give you guys some variety because it's been the skirt pretty much the whole video. Um, this is really really cute, a little crop top. Um, I think that it's a very nice amount of stomach to be shown. Um, super cute. I have to, I always have the tags out whenever I'm doing these so I always have to check. Um, but yeah, it's just very very nice. Um, it looks kind of just like a normal black crop top from far away I would say but um, it is velvet and it has the really nice um, pattern. <laughs> I wish I could tilt my camera down for you guys but the tripod I have right now is kind of in a sketchy position and I don't want to mess with it so we're just gonna keep it as it is but yeah this is so cute I actually haven't worn this in a while because I like lost it at Derek's house for a little bit it was like buried in the back of the drawer somewhere and then I had to come home so I haven't worn this in like two months and I forgot how much I really really do like it with just the lace and it's just so cute I think it's just a really like nice subtle cute um, I'm not really good at explaining clothes but I think it's just so perfect okay so this is the last top this one again is probably my favorite in terms of like I wear it the most it's just really perfect tank top and super cute in the back so as you can see from the front it's just kind of a normal looking tank top kind of situation, um, kind of a nice v-neck. But then my favorite part is when you turn around, it's got this really, really awesome uh, pentagram strapping stuff. Hopefully it's not twisted. I think that we're good though, but I just love it so much, you guys. I think the way that like my tattoos kind of like sit in between the straps and stuff is just so flattering. And the fact that it kind of like comes down decently low, I just love it so much. It's like my favorite thing in the world and also it just feels like nice and kind of like cool on my back like it's just like an open airflow area I don't know if that makes sense but it's just it's so nice I love this top I've worn it the most out of any of them um, and I would highly recommend getting it because it's just like my favorite thing that I've probably ever gotten from Killstar for some reason it just really vibes with me super well and it's like the perfect example of a thing that would like not work if you wore a bra so I'm just like so glad that I stopped wearing them. It was actually because of my fiance that I stopped wearing them because he was like, I was basically really insecure about my small boobs and stuff and I used to wear like those like crazy push-up bras where it's like plus two cups, like mega push-up bra. And um, you know, cause all of my exes didn't make me feel good about having a small chest. And then Derek's like, small boobs are the best. Like embrace that shit. Don't wear a bra, you don't need it. And I was like, how could I not wear one? I've worn one my whole life. And then I just kind of tried it for a little bit and the first week was really weird. I felt all like, oh my God, I'm all like exposed and like my nipples and like, ah, or whatever. But like, bro, it's so worth it. It's so good. I'm just chilling at all times. Like I'm never uncomfortable. I never have to like come home and be like, oh my God, I can't wait to get my bra off. Like it's just so comfortable. So if you have the capability, do it. It feels so good. Yeah, anyways, that was it that was the final piece i hope that you guys enjoyed i apologize so much if i was at all awkward i know i do a lot of like weird hand movements and touching the hair but um i don't really know how to get better i feel like this is just how i am naturally um at this point because i'm 25 and i mean i've always been very like ah. i think it honestly might be like i'm especially awkward when i'm doing like try on haul things and i think it's just because like i've gone my whole life with being like really insecure with myself so I feel weird like showing off my clothes like specifically being like check this out like look at what I'm wearing and I'm like oh god like this is a lot of attention like 
on my body but like I'm starting to get better because my fiance has been so amazing at boosting my confidence and stuff so I'm aware I'm pretty rambly and cringy at times but I appreciate you guys for watching and enjoying these hauls and I hope that I can be like as helpful as possible in terms of like answering questions and like demonstrating Kelstar merch and kind of giving size references based off of my size and stuff so yeah if you have any questions at all about any items or anything let me know down below yeah until then I will see you guys next time hopefully I will be doing an order soon um i am trying to save up as much money as i can because i'm going to be moving to the states to be with derek in a couple months i think so trying to save up as much as i can but i think i might squeeze in one more order before i leave my beautiful room Make sure you like the video comment on the video and subscribe if you haven't already because i do definitely plan to do more videos like this more killstar hauls will be coming and eventually i would even love to do like thrift hauls or like just random outfit try-ons not necessarily related to Killstar. So yep, I am back to doing videos on my channel. I know I've been kind of absent, but I really am trying hard to stick with it this time, I hope. So anyways, I will see you guys next time and thank you again for watching. Bye!